Hey everyone and welcome to This Week in Hearthstone, week number 11, our weekly news recap series taking a look at all the world, the world of news and events in the world of Hearthstone throughout the week. And this week was a hell of a week. We had the big fall reveal and we had the unveiling of the brand new mode, Duels. And Duels was all the talk basically all week and I gotta say, it's kind of dying a horrible death right out the gate, so... You can't tell by the headline of this video. Has Duels been a failure? Has it been a failure of a mode? Like, is it accomplishing nothing? So, um, it went live. If you weren't aware, there was the fall reveal on Thursday, like 8 a.m. PST, 11 p uh, 11 a.m. EST. And uh, they revealed that the new mode was Duels, which is like a dungeon run mode where you battle against each other with dungeon run decks. And it went live like a couple of hours later. And like Crip and all these guys are streaming it all day. And within a day or two, I have noticed a trend of just, like, there's barely any streamers playing it outside of, like, Crip and, like, I think Trump and a couple of big guys. But if they're, like, normally BG streamers, they're already back to BGs. If they're normally ladder streamers, they're back to ladder. Like, people got their 12-win runs or gave it a go and just, yeah, they, they tried it. And for the most part, I find that people try it and then they move on to something else. So, does this make duels a failure? Like, because if you remember with Battlegrounds, when that came out, people wouldn't stop playing it. It was the top viewed game mode on Hearthstone on Twitch, super popular, and still is to this day. And Duels just really hasn't done that. So when it came out, I did like an initial like first impressions the first day or so. And I said that it was like kind of meh. I was kind of like, you know, it's not fantastic. It's fine. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's exactly what it is. It's dungeon run PVP, but it was really unbalanced and... There's not like that much variety and I think that's one of the big things about it right now that kind of kills off a lot of the hype is the fact that there isn't that much variety in it. You have the 10 heroes so you can pick like the 10 heroes based off all the main base heroes. So but, like when you load up duels and you get to pick between four heroes, there's 10 total you can pick from and then each one of them you can only pick one hero power at the moment. There's going to be two other ones you can unlock and then you get like one like treasure you can pick to play with your hero and there's gonna be like six of them you can unlock but right now there's only one so really quickly on you kind of you know get the feel of what these are like and you already and the, the way that warlock is right now warlock's basically unplayable it's really bad the hero power is awful and the treasure is really bad so you pick warlock you're likely not going to do very well so you're kind of you're limited on what you can pick and that that limits a lot of the gameplay so you're jamming this for like 10 hours day one streaming it and or playing it you've kind of experienced most of the content like you, there's like the passives you can pick as you progress as you draft like you can get like your death your death rattles to trigger twice or spell damage plus one like these passives right but you also kind of get a feel for all those you get you get to feel the most of them out and then there's some that are still in the game that are just broken like the robes that like would half the cost of your cards, which they haven't been able to patch out yet, which they have announced they will. But anyways, it's, it's, my main point is here is that duels launched in a really basic state for early access. And I get kind of why they want to do that. They want to like just show off the mode and like kind of like, I guess wean people into it, but I feel like it's killed off a lot of the hype. Like people are really hyped. There's this new mode. We've been hyping it all year because it was revealed at the beginning of the year, the roadmap, there's going to be this brand new mode and it comes out and already people aren't really playing it. And it's not that exciting. And when we waited all year for that and the ladder, like ladders really stagnant, really stale. Nobody really seems to want to play it. Whether it be standard or wild battlegrounds is fine. It's doing okay. But the elemental stuff is like a little bit miffy. And we'll talk about that in the, the next segment. Um, it's just, it just hasn't really grabbed people. And do I think that makes duels a failure out the gate? I think it's kind of failed at creating hype for the game itself. And I think that sucks. Is the mode a failure? No, it's, it's not a bad mode at all. People misconstrued my comments earlier that I thought duels is bad. I don't think it's bad. I think it's a fun little casual mode where you can just hang out, play dungeon runs against other people and do that. But there's really no, no incentive to like play like, there's no rewards. The ranking doesn't mean anything. And again, it's very bare bones. So again, you get really tired of it really quickly. So I don't think it's a failure. I just think that I would have liked to have seen them launch it with more stuff to get people more invested to keep playing because by the time more stuff gets added, the new expansion is going to be coming out. And are people really going to go back to duels when the new expansion comes out and you can play Yogg, you can play all the old gods that people are really excited about? I don't know. 
I, I'm kind of skeptical, and I feel like this mode is going to get lost, but maybe not. Maybe the new stuff that we'll get added to will spur people back up to play it, get people hyped up. But yeah, I want this mode to do well, and it kind of sucks that w within like a few days, people are already like just kind of not even wanting to play it or talk about it, and it's just not that interesting. So yeah, we'll see, but at least overall right now, Duels is kind of failed at getting hype for Hearthstone. And that's kind of a bummer. But overall, I do like the mode. There's a lot of promise with it. It can be really cool. It's just, I don't want it to get lost just because the hype is dead already for it. And that's my main concern. Before we take a look at our next story, I want to do one last hype here. We are closing in closer than ever at 10,000 subs. Less than like, what, 80, 70 subs away. It's crazy. I just want to thank everyone that has hit that button. But if we can get over that hump by this weekend, I will promise to give away a mega bundle i've been promising a giveaway that's what it will be and there'll be the mega bundle full with the whole cthune artwork and this giveaway will go to youtube exclusively to you guys so we can get to that 10,000 sub mark you can get excited for a mega bundle giveaway now to the next story uh, the next story i wanted to talk about is battlegrounds so we've been talking a lot about battlegrounds balance and issues the past week and there recently it was patched in that genie no longer can give you Minions of a higher tier. They added Zephyrus to the Battlegrounds pool. You can now get Zephyrus as a new hero. Is a three-banded hero power. You can use it three times a game. And if you have a double, you can get a triple, right? Like, you don't have to find that third unit. So, it's really flexible and um, can be pretty strong. But we have to wait to evaluate it. It's only been out for a few days. Um, but overall, I want to highlight a tweet here. This is a guy that works for HS Replay Tiago. He wanted to highlight that the basically the win rate if you take a look at the win rate of all the top heroes in battlegrounds it's basically never been more balanced than this uh the hero distribution is actually pretty good there's a lot of tier one heroes before it's always like there's one or two like oh i got like for example before you had uh jandis you got jandis you won you got ragnaros you won and that was it like or Mayav, like Mayav's busted but now with like the nerfs to rag to to pogo hopper to Maiev, it's balanced out a little bit. The, the, the bottom tier heroes are still terrible. They're still awful. But there's more top tier top tier heroes to pick from. So you're less likely to get stuck with a bad hero when you get a hero. So that's really good. That's awesome. And I wanted to highlight that. Because we've been doing a lot of criticizing of Battlegrounds on, our, on this week in Hearthstone. Because there have been some issues. And we don't like seeing that. We like to, you know, want to try and correct it. And so does play Hearthstone. And they've been doing that. So that's great. There is still one issue, though. Elementals have been a complete train wreck, in my opinion, in the mode since they've been implemented. We've talked about it. And again, they did some balance patches. They did some balance changes to, like, and, you know, bump Genie down, put little Rag up, change the stats on some of the, like, Elementals, take some out of the game. And Elementals are still busted. Even with Genie at five, I'm also going to highlight an infographic here taken from Tiago um, that shows the win distribution per tribe in, in Battlegrounds, Elementals by far win more than anything else. And the biggest, most glaring thing is look at the bottom. You have like big demons and pirates combined for like less than 2% of total wins. And these stats, I think, were taken from like three or four days ago. Three or day f uh, sample size. So pretty recent stuff. And that's really troubling that two of the tribes in the game basically just can't win. Um, elemental numbers are a little bit spiked up. They're probably a little bit skewed because elementals are offered in every single game. So you're always going to have elementals there. So they're more likely to win. But overall, it's still way too skewed. This is way, way too high. They're still overtuned. And that's with the genie nerf going live. So I think they really need to take a look at just doing something drastic about elementals. Like it's not enough that genie, like genie five being fixed is not enough little rag to six isn't enough i think nomi needs to go to six that's too consistent scaling early and i think they just need to understat or like remove the scaling options like you have the two three ton at tier two that infinitely scales i feel like that should just go because like should you really have a taunt that infinitely scales on top of everything like if you look at elementals every single elemental does something good you never feel bad picking an elemental in Battlegrounds, pretty much ever. Whereas every other tribe, there's always that unit that's just this garbage. Like, beasts have the beast, or mechs have, like, you know, Micro Machine. They, they all kind of have their garbage minion, right? Elementals don't really have that. They're all really good. So, I feel like they need to either, like, make some of them bad or add some bad ones. Like, they're just too good. They're too consistent, and that's why we see people winning all the time. 
and with elementals and i find someone who does love playing uh, battlegrounds i don't really stream it but i very often but i do love playing it and i i want to keep love playing it i would just want elementals to be scaled back a bit so that like other stuff can be playable because i really enjoy playing pirates i think they're a lot of fun um demons not as much but pirates can be really fun you just can't win with them and the, I guess I just want every class to be as like strong and powerful as elementals because elementals are super fun. They're really fun to play. And if every class could be like elementals, I'd be down for that. So either like scale elementals down or just buff everything up. And I think you'd be good to go. And I don't think it's that far off. I don't think this is like Demon Hunter and Ashes of Outland kind of broken. It's just, it needs some more tweaking and I hope that they do it sooner than later. Next, we have the meta update in both Standard and Wild. Standard, we saw the nerfs go live for Evocation and the Solarian Prime. And um, yeah, Mage is still really good. The, the, the Mage deck has basically been left untouched. Tempo Mage is still like a tier one deck at High Legend um, with the same deck line. They just... They literally run Prime, they run Evocation. It's just a little worse. But it was really good beforehand, so it's still really solid. Uh, Soul Fragment Demon Hunter is still really good. Uh, Paladin's really good. You know, all the all the same decks are still really strong. Um, one deck that's popped up that Paper Ninja hit rank 1 Legend with this week was Highlander Priest that did very well. And yeah, Priest has popped up a little bit more in popularity. I guess with this slowing down a Mage a little bit, and maybe a little bit less people playing Mage, uh, Priest has popped up. So if you want to give some Highlander Priest a go... It seems to be doing really well. And in Wild, I mean, the, the meta, like, Quest Mage and all that stuff, not hit too hard by Evocation. Um, but while I was playing Wild, I didn't see a lot of Quest Mage. has been a lot of Reno Priest. Reno Priest, super popular. Um, of course, Aggro. But one deck that keeps popping back up is Dark Glare Warlock. We've seen more and more people getting Rank 1 Legend with Dark Glare Warlock. So I'm highlighting the list here. Uh, this guy hit Rank 1 Legend on two different servers playing Dark Glare Warlock, despite it being nerfed to two. So... Yeah, it's pretty insane. The Dark Lair nerf killed Warlock in Standard, and it's still, like, insanely strong and wild. So, kind of crazy there. So, our last segment, we're going to take a look at the Masters Tour Madrid event uh, results. This is the last Masters Tour event of the year, so the last opportunity for Hearthstone players to qualify to become the next Grand Masters for next season. If there is going to be a next season, nothing's actually been announced. But, anyways, we had a final eight here. I'm highlighting on this graphic of J4U. XC, give please Badu Paxoy, <laughs> Alutemu, Gabi, High 3, and MM78. Uh, the winner of this event was XC, and Gabi, one of the best players in the world. I watched his semifinal. If he um if he won this, he would have become GM. Unfortunately, lost in the semifinals is not a Grandmasters, and it was heartbreaking to watch because he lost a pure random crap playing Demon Hunter against Mage. He lost to two Ice Barriers and two Frost Bolts. And that really upset me because of the best one of the best players in the world is still not a Grandmaster because of this. Because of pure random. It's nerfed, by the way. But yeah, that, that was a little bit upsetting. But after all of this, we now have 10 new players being invited into Grandmasters and one being invited back. And we'll take a look at everyone invited per region. So for Asia Pacific, Give Please, High 3, and Lambie series are all GMs in the Americas just saying immediately back in after getting relegated. Uh, Fled, Impact, and Dread Eye. And then in Europe, Warma, Letta, and Frenetic. All Grandmasters uh, for the next season. I'm assuming there's going to be a next season in 2021, so the congratulations to all of them. They definitely deserve it, but it really sucks for the EU guys. You should see the, the winnings on EU. Like, Gabby, I think he won more than any player won on NA all year. And he's not Grandmasters. And that goes for a couple other guys. So I really do hope they take a look at like how the qualifying works for Grandmasters. Because I think it's kind of unfair that people on the EU region don't get in while the NA guys get in. And they basically don't do anything to deserve it compared to them. So kind of sucks. But congrats to those guys that all made it. And we'll see them you know, next year in the Grandmasters tournament. That's this week in Hearthstone. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. And stay salty, my friends.